Hi guys, welcome to the next video. Um, today we're going to be looking at reverse Polish notation. In the top right hand corner as always there is the uh, relevant uh, content and additional information in accordance with the official AQA specification for the A-level computer science course. Uh, let's jump straight in. So a little bit about RPN first or reverse Polish notation. So it's referred to as postfix notation and it was developed by a Polish mathematician and the idea is that it evaluates arithmetic expressions in a more easily computable format. Um, day to day uh, equations are written in a, in a way that is considered to be infix uh, and that doesn't actually do the computer any favours and actually makes it very very difficult indeed for the computer to process. And so RPN was designed essentially because it eliminates the need for brackets fundamentally and produces expressions in a format suitable for evaluating um, using a stack which as, we, as we've looked at before if you haven't done please do look at the abstract data types video um, and it's used in interpreters based on a stack for example bytecodes which is a familiar construct with regards to programming languages such as Java and Python. Now infix notation as I've touched on already is this way that we normally evaluate arithmetic expressions and it's, it's just not easy for the computer to process. An example of an infix expression um, is shown as an example for you on screen where you've got a and b inside of brackets being added together before then being multiplied by c. Now in this example um, if we were to process this via a computer and we were to take our infix notation expression and then process it in a postfix way the computer would need to first of all get hold of a then get hold of b add those values together and store that intermediate result before then getting C and multiplying those two values together. And we can write that expression at the bottom of your screen, you'll see as A, B plus C, and then with the multiplication sign. Um, and that will look a little bit strange at first, but the idea is, is that we're now writing this in a an order of precedence, if you like, that the computer has to deal with, as opposed to writing things in an infix way, which we're much more familiar with, because well, let's face it, you've been doing it for many, many years. Um, and the general rule for reverse Polish notation is that the operator follows the operands um, and that is so that the computer can do the calculation, carry out the, the instructions in the most logical way. I mentioned order of precedence um, and this is the increasing order of precedence that um, with regards to postfix notation expressions you need to be aware of um, and, and that goes right from the equal sign down to the unary minus sign at the bottom. And as I said, that is in an increasing order of precedence display for you. Now, when we want to convert from index to um, reverse Polish notation, there is, there is a general set of rules that we can follow. The first is that you move from left side of your infix expression um, and allocated numbers from one, um, incrementing each time to the operands. And the second point is that you ignore the parentheses except insofar as they affect the order of calculation. Um, and then I've said that now using the order of precedence, continue to assign numbers to the operators. Now in this example, um, I've got at the bottom of your screens, therefore you a, a reverse Polish notation um, uh, question and, and the infix expression is nine plus, and then we've got dual brackets inside of those eight plus two before closing off the first set of brackets, multiplying that result by three and then finally taking away seven. And if we follow the rules on the previous slide here, what you'll then spot is that if we number these, with regards to the values themselves, but also taking into account this order of precedence, we number nine as one, eight as two, uh, two as three. We then use the plus sign as four because they are placed inside of the brackets themselves before then introducing three as five, that multiplication by six. Then we go back and add on the seven that we had at the back at the beginning of the calculation. We then introduce seven. And then finally, what we want to do is subtract seven from the result we had. And that is how we build that up. And then if you write these values out in the order that you've numbered them, you will have your reverse Polish notation um, expression in, 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 with regards to the, the, the infix expression that we had a few minutes ago. Uh, and the answer is 982 plus 3 multiplied plus 7 minus. Now, in order to do the reverse, if you have a, a reverse Polish notation expression and you want to convert that back into an infix notation, we essentially reverse the process. Um, and I've said here, look over the operands and record them in the order you see them until you find two operands followed by an operator. As there was a number before the two, record that first. So if we look at our screens, infix, we've got two and six. We've then got seven and 18. We've then got multiplication signs popping between those two. We then bring in the 13. We then put the minus sign in. And that there brings you to the end of that particular conversion. 